Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to create this dinosaur. Um, this is my own design. Yeah, so I'll be showing you how to make him today. Um, I'll be making a couple modifications on the head, the body, and... Yeah, that's about it. Um, the head will be a bit bigger, and the body will be a little bit bigger as well. So, that being said, let's go on to what you'll be needing. Quickly, just before we start, um, if I have chip nails, I'm sorry if that triggers anybody. I was too impatient to wait for it to dry. Also, if you hear anything throughout the entire video, um, like family members, siblings doing stuff, I'm sorry. If you hear any rain, it's pretty rainy outside right now. Or if you hear any dogs barking, I'm sorry. Um, or anything noise-wise, I hope it doesn't be too noisy, but I do have a noisy family. So, also... Um, I don't have that good of lighting right now, and I'm sorry about that. Um, I will hopefully have an actual stand soon. Um, right now I have a pile of books. Like I'll, I'll insert a picture right now. So yeah, I have a pile of books. Um, as you just saw, a pile of books with a light on top. It's, it's, not, it's not pretty, but it does the job. I have a light right there, so it's shining on one place, but hopefully it does the job because I couldn't have it any higher otherwise it'll create the shadow not good anyways so on to the things that you'll be needing okay so you'll be needing a rainbow loom hook I like to use the rainbow loom hook because it has a bigger tip so when you pull the bands through it's a lot easier and it won't slip as for the um crochet hooks they're easier and they slip um quite easy but if you prefer to use a crochet hook go ahead It'll still work. Um, you'll also be needing um, safety eyes. So for those people who don't have safety eyes, you can also use beads if you know how to do it. I won't be showing you how to do it in the video with beads. I'm talking fast, I'm sorry. I won't be showing you how to do it with beads in the YouTube video because I don't have any beads and I'm not quite sure how to do it with beads, honestly. Um, I like how easy it is just to put in the safety eyes. Um, but yeah, so I'll be using probably either 10 millimeter or 8 millimeter or 9 millimeter. I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, so you can get these from eBay. You can get them from online companies right now. Um, if it wasn't COVID-19, things like that, you could get them from a craft store. Um, so yeah, they're pretty easy to find. Um, I got these this for 15 bucks on eBay. I'm not sure if the listing's up anymore. If it is, I'll put it in the description. Okay, so you'll also be needing, um, oh my C-clip went missing, that's fun. You'll be needing a C-clip, I have a big thing of them because I have a lot of pack of bands, let's just say that. You guys can also, well it's up. You guys can also use just a, um, a S-clip, you can also use an actual stitch marker for crochet. Um, yeah, so you'll be needing a C-clip. Um, you'll also be needing something to hold your stuff on. Uh, this was a dinosaur that I was making, the feet. I was going to make a pink one, but then I realised I didn't have enough bands, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, so, you need something to hold. You can also use another hook, you can use a pencil, you can use a pen, like I did. Um, but, yeah. Uh, you also, so for the colour of bands, um, I'll be doing a different colour today because I ran out of this green. I didn't have enough for the dinosaur, but I needed that color green. Um, so that's why I'll be making the head a bit bigger this time, because I have enough bands to do that. Um, it does have quite a bit of band take up. I'm not sure how much. Um, I don't really do band counts. I'm sorry. Um, I will hopefully in the future. Um, but so I'll be using Teal by Rainbow Loom. Um, probably about 600 bands something around that I'm not sure it might be like 400 I have no idea um dark green by Rainbow Loom I've used quite a bit of these you won't be needing too much of the second color but yeah you only be needing two colors um and that's everything that we need oh sorry you'll also be needing fiber fill um polyfill um you could use tissues what else cotton balls paper not paper bag sorry plastic bag toilet paper anything really squishy that you can put in that is fluffy that will fill it up so it's not empty all right so that's everything you'll be needing and now let's get on to the extra tutorial okay so for the first part you'll be needing sorry, this is really loud. 
you will be needing your main body colour. I'm just filling up my tray. Oh, and I'm putting bands everywhere as well while I'm at it. So I'll have more than enough bands that's in here right now. I'll be needing the rest of the packet. Um, but yeah, so you'll be needing your main colour for this. And you will also be needing your crochet hook with your C-clip. And has my C-clip gone missing? No, it hasn't. You'll be needing a C-clip or stitch marker, um, main colour bands, and your rainbow limb hook. I have my... Oh, you can't even see it, but it's on and it's got like my pattern that I for the dinosaur, which I will be changing because I have enough bands to do a big head. Okay, so let's get started. Moving my. Okay, so my. I don't think it needs to be zoomed in. I'm gonna go out of camera if I zoom in. Okay, so what you'll be. In... Huh, we're gonna start off with our magic ring. And I'll try to go as slow as I can for those who don't know how to do a magic ring. I did do, um, I uploaded a video on my YouTube channel about beginners, but then I realized some of the footage was upside down, so I deleted it. I will remake that soon, so I can refer to you to go to that if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but there is things like beginner stuff all over YouTube that you can use. Um, so if I don't make sense, then you can go check those out. But yeah, okay, so I'll try to explain this as best as I can. What you'll be needing to do to do a magic ring is a so we'll be, bleh, we'll be doing a six stitch magic ring so six stitches in the magic ring so you want to wrap it around twice oh to create three loops on your hook grab another band pull that band through these three loops so a technique that you can use is twist your hook and pull through which is what i like to do so the band doesn't slip off so now you should have something that looks like that then you can pull this band through this band. And then you should have the slip knot. Don't pull the slip knot because this is a stitch. Go back and so what you want to do now is go back into those three loops that you started off with. Remaining with the first loop on your hook. Grab another band and pull that band through these three loops. Twist motion while you do it. And then put that back into your hook and then pull this band through these two bands. And that is your first stitch and you can see that on the side. Go back into your three loops. Make sure you've gone through the, all three loops. Pull through another band. Reclaim and then pull this band through these two bands. Like so. So now you should have three stitches. The one on your hook counts as one. Back into those three loops, holding this band while you do it. Oh, it's fiber filling me. Pull this band through these three loops. Don't pull it through this one. Reclaim, pull it through. And it's basically repetitive. Go back into oh, the cat band. Pull through another band. Reclaim, and then pull through. So now we can count one, two, three, four, five, and we need to do one more. Grab another band, pull it through this cat band, reclaim, and then pull this band through these two bands. Like so. And then you should have a magic ring ready. Just like that. Okay, so now you want to grab your C-clip and put that onto the band that's on your hook. Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're making the head first. So this probably isn't the best order to do it in, but that's just what my pattern says. We're we'll doing the legs next. Legs and arms are both the same thing. Okay, so what we're doing next is we're going into the next stitch and we are doing a increase all. So, go into the first stitch. Grab another band, and to do an increase, we're pulling through two bands through the same chain. So, I'll quickly show you how to do this. So you pull it through, reclaim, and then pull this band through these two bands. I won't be going, I won't be going as slow throughout the entire video, I'm just getting this so you guys get the hang of it. Go back into that same chain, so we're going to the same chain that we just did. Same chain, pull through another band, Reclaim and then pull this band through these two. Whoa. 
and now we have two bands, two stitches in the same loop. Now we're going to do that throughout all loops. So go to the next chain over, pull through two bands. So one band, back into the same chain, another band. Go to the next chain, pull through one band, go back into the same chain, pull through another band. Okay, go to the next chain over, pull through a band, reclaim, back into the same chain, pull through another band. Go into the next chain over, pull through a band, back into the same chain, pull through another band. And then go into your last, so where your C clip is. Pull through a band, reclaim, pull through, go through that chain again. Okay. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So because we didn't increase, it is now double 6. So double 6 is 12. So you should have 12 stitches. Take your Take your C-clip and reclaim onto the hook, one on your hook. So now you have a top of your head. I don't know if this is a top or bottom, I forgot. Okay, so now we're doing single crochet and we're doing a pattern now. So, well, we've been doing a pattern the whole time, but... Okay, so now we're going into the next chain over. And we're doing single crochet increase. So pull through a band single crochet first, so we're just doing one stitch in the one chain, and then we're doing an increase. So you want to pull a band through the chain, doing an increase, so you want to go back into the chain this time. Okay, now the next one over is a normal stitch, so we're not doing two in the same chain, just one. Go to the next one, and we're doing an increase, so we're doing one, back again, again, and a second one in the same chain. The next one, single, so it's just a pattern now, single, and then the next one is a increase, the next one is a single, Next one is an increase. Back in the same chain. Oh, okay, so if this happens, take off the band. Um, just reclaim where you got, where it messed up. Check what you have. So I did a single before, we're doing an increase, so I'm just gonna go back into the same chain. Pull through another. Okay, so doing a single, increase, single, and end in an increase. Okay, so take C clip off, reclaim it, and the one on your hook. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. And now we're going to go on to the next row. So now we're doing single crochet, single crochet, increase. So, what we're doing in the first stitch, so single crochet, the next stitch over we're doing another single crochet, and then we're doing an increase. Single. The camera's moving a lot, I'm sorry. Single. Increase. If I'm going too fast for you throughout this video, you can pause and catch up. 
I just don't want this to be really long, otherwise it takes forever to upload. Single crochet. Single crochet. And then an increase. Single crochet, single, well, crochet, and then an increase. Back in the same chain. Okay, and then a single. Single. Increase. Single, single, and then end in an increase. Single. Single. And then the one with your stitch marker. Do an increase. Take your stitch marker off and then reclaim onto the band on your hook. And my voice is starting to lose. Sorry about that. You, if your bands, I have a tendency of flattening it when I loom, so just try to make it go up a bit. It'll do that gradually as you continue. Okay, and now we're doing. Um, so my pattern doesn't say this, but. We are going to be doing single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then increase. So it's three single crochets, and on the fourth stitch, we're doing an increase and doing that throughout the whole, the whole row. So single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then increase. Single crochet, single crochet. Oh, by the way, the um, I'll hopefully put the stitch count in the corner. If I don't, that means I wasn't able to get that. But if I do, then oh, I forgot to do the stitch count. I'll do the stitch count from now on. Sorry about that. Single crochet, and then increase. Single crochet, single crochet, wait did I just do, no I'm good, okay sorry, single crochet, and an increase, next one over, single crochet, Single crochet, single crochet, increase. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and increase. If I'm going too fast, I'm really sorry, I just don't want this to take forever. Sorry, I almost did an increase in the next stitch. So that was increase, and now we're doing single, 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 and end in an increase. Single, 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 and then end in an increase. Remove the stitch marker and then replace on 
then it's on your hook. Okay, so for the next couple of rows, um, sorry, I'll do the stitch count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we have 30 stitches, that sounds right. Um, if you have a different stitch count, just make sure you've done the pattern right. Okay, and now that is the basic size of our head. So as you can see, it's bigger than this one. Um, so now we're going to do single crochet rounds. So we're not going to do any increases, no decreases, no stip slip stitches. We're just doing um, single crochet all the way around for a couple rows. I'll do the first one with you and then I'll decide how many rows. Okay, so we're just doing single crochet. Very simple. So I'll just show for those who still don't understand. Um, single crochet is just pull the band through and then through that band. So the next stitch over, same thing, single, reclaim, through. Next. So not doing two in each stitch now, we're just doing, sorry, chain. One, one each chain. The camera is moving a lot. Um, I have a, as I showed you, the stand is not very good, and I'm sorry about that. Um, so whenever I shake the table, the phone will shake, and I can just constantly see it shaking. So hope the footage turns out okay. So we need to start going in, dude. Don't know why it's doing that. It might just be my bands and the way I'm looming. Oh, there we go. It will eventually start going in if yours isn't. So you should still have 30 stitches at the end of this row. I'll count with you. I'm probably going really fast right now, and I'm sorry for that. Um, I just don't want this, as I said, to be really long. So if it, it will end up being at least an hour, I'm guessing, um, but I don't really want it to be, you know, two hours or anything. Okay. So, let's count our stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So, we're, that's 30. We did not screw up our stitches. Yay! Okay, so, now... Okay, so I'm not quite sure how many rounds it's going to take for it to become an actual head. So, or the main middle part of the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the amount of stitches, um, rows that I think you'll be needing. Um, I will, so basically what we just did, we're going to do that heaps of times, but I'm going to do it first and then I'll come back to you guys. Um, I'll tell you how many stitches or rounds I did to get to where I was, where I am in that part of the video. Um... Uh, and then you'll pause the video, you'll do that amount of rounds, and then we'll go from there. Okay? So I'll do the amount of rounds, I think. I'll tell you how many. And then you guys will pause from there. Okay, so now we will be decreasing. Okay. So, you should look like this. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we're doing single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. And then 
decrease. So we're doing a single crochet in the first stitch, I'm um, sorry, the chain, next chain, single crochet. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, sorry. And then we're doing a decrease. Now, to do a decrease, um, the decrease I'm going to be doing today is the front stitches, sorry, and the back stitch. So I'll do that again. So we're taking the front stitch of the next stitch over, front stitch, and we're going straight to the next stitch over and grabbing the back stitch. And then pull a band through them. And then you just repeat. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, decrease, so front stitch, then the back stitch, so we had two stitches together, front stitch of the first stitch, back stitch of the second stitch. Put a band through both, and then loom as normal. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, gosh my brain's all over the place, okay, front stitch, back stitch of two stitches, pull the band through, and then we're doing the pattern again. Now, as I said, I was making the thing bigger, I didn't think it was going to be this much bigger. But yeah, that's the head. Um, this is gonna be significantly bigger. So if you want to do, if you want me to do a um, tutorial on this significant baby dinosaur with less amount of bands, I have the pattern next to me now. Um, so yeah, um, be sure to comment if you want me to show you guys this design. But today I'll be showing you how to make this design. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's continue. So we just did a decrease. Now we're doing three single crochets. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, front stitch of the first stitch, sorry, front stitch of the first chain, back stitch of the second chain. Pull a band through. Be sure to be really nice and loose with your stitches, otherwise they will end up as stretched and you'll have holes in your project. Okay, so now we're doing single crochet. Single crochet, single crochet, sorry, decrease, front stitch and back stitch of two different stitches, I mean chains, pull them through and then single crochet, single crochet, Decrease. Okay, um, and then you should have one more band left. Um, that's I hope I did this correct. But then just do a single crochet at the end. Okay, and your head is coming together. Okay, now we got next row. So the next row is single crochet, single crochet, decrease. So, single crochet, single crochet, and then a decrease. We'll be stuffing soon in the next round, I'm pretty sure. So, next stitch over, single crochet, single crochet, and then decrease. So we're just slowly decreasing. Single crochet, single, oh, single crochet, front stitch of the first chain, back stitch of the second chain, decrease. Single crochet, Single crochet. I'm sorry about the lighting. Clouds keep going over the 
um, sun. Decrease. Same crochet. Same crochet. And then front stitch and back stitch. Decrease. Single crochet. Single crochet. And then the front stitch and the back stitch. Decrease. Should end on the decrease. Okay. So the head is coming together. I'll probably stuff it in the next round. But that is your cute head. So that's a very big difference. Um, definitely a lot more bands being used. You can have the stuffing now if you prefer to have a bigger hole, but I'll be stuffing it next round. So now we're doing single crochet increase. Sorry, single crochet decrease. So a single crochet in the first chain, second chain is a decrease. Front stitch and the back stitch. Next chain is a single. Next chain, two chains is a decrease. Front, back. Single crochet. Whoop. That didn't work. Single crochet. Oof. And then decrease. Single crochet, decrease. It'll get a little bit more fidgety as you continue because the stitches are getting, sorry, the hole is getting smaller. Single crochet, decrease. I hope I'm on actual camera. That didn't make any sense. Single crochet, so then we're just doing ending in three single crochets, apparently. Um, I may have missed a stitch, so if you're ending in a decrease. No, sorry, that does make sense. Single crochet, and then a decrease. My brain got confused. So we're ending on a decrease. Okay, so we're looking a little bit mangled now, um, but it will form, I promise. So. Now we're going to stuff. Stuff the head. Okay. So grab your stuffing, put the band lower on your hook so it doesn't come off, and then just get feeling. Fill to your choice. Um, you can fill um, however you like. I like mine to be pretty stuffed, but you don't want it to be too stuffed, otherwise you can see it through the stitches. So that's pretty good for me. Um, and now, we're going to leave it, I'm pretty sure we're just going to leave it like that. Yep. Okay, so now that we got the head out of the way, you can grab your... Oh gosh, I just remembered. I forgot to add eyes. I'm sorry about the mistake. Okay, what you want to do is take out the stuffing. Just like so. And grab your safety eyes. Uh, I'm sorry about forgetting this. <laughs> just grab your safety eyes. We're going to have a look at eyes I like to put on. So I'm going to look at the biggest first. So let's have a look what that looks like. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, that's one eye. I think I might go with the biggest ones because they're cute. And the other guy, eye, sorry, not guy, can go there. And it'll look like a cute baby dinosaur, hopefully. <laughs> um, and then we just put backings on them. So I'll quickly fix up the eyes and choose my size and I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to put on this size eye. 
So it's a 10, I'm not, wait, 10 millimeter? Um, well, this 10, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 10 millimeter. Um, and then I've got them pretty far apart because I like the look of them being more far apart. Then we're going to have the thing coming down the back. Okay, anyways. So now I'm just going to show you how I put the backings in. Because mine don't go on the bigger size. The backings don't really go on. Um, or they're really hard to put on. I grabbed some scissors. I just have these small fishing scissors. Excuse the fluff on them. And I cut the edges. On both sides to make more room. You can cut all four sides. I'm going to do that because it's a bigger size. So this is just like a hack. I'm going to do that with the second base. So if you can't get yours on, just cut the sides so you have four. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'm going to flip this inside out, slightly at least. <laughs> and make sure you have your eyes placed where you want them, and then it should be pretty easy to push the backings on. Just make sure it's not too easy. Otherwise, they'd take forever to get on if I'd have my dad give a go at putting them on. You might even be able to get them off when you do it like this might and then of course just stuff it again it should be pretty good to stuff i didn't really choose the okay anyways so now just grab some stuffing my hook would stop being annoying and dragging across the table that'd be great and just stuff how you had it before sorry about forgetting to do the eyes <laughs> i'm not actually oh we're about to do the okay now you have a round really cute head <laughs> So it kind of looks like a turtle head, not going to lie. Okay, so now we have completed the head and we're going to get on to the arms and legs, which they're both the same pattern. So that should be easy. So you can just take your hook out, leave your C-clip on off to the side. If you're scared of it falling off, as I said at the start, you can grab a pen or something and just put that on. And that is the head. And <laughs> the difference is very big. We're going to have a big dino, but it's going to still be baby. So we this stuff away. Let me get on to the legs. Okay, so now that I've cleaned up a little bit, oh, I just made a mess again. So you have our head off to the side, and then grab some more of your main color bands of the dino. Okay, and now we're just gonna start on the arms and legs. The arms and legs are the same thing for both, um, so you're gonna make four of them. Okay, so we're doing a magic round row, sorry, magic ring of six. So put your Band around, so you have three loops. Take your band through the three loops. Reclaim. Pull this band through this band. Put your hook back into those three loops. Hold this band. Oh, pull another band through. Get back into that loop. Pull a band through. One, two, three. Doing three more. One. Oof. Two. And one more. So you should have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, grab your C clip. So I have the C clip on the head from before. Wow, I did a good job on the head. I'm proud of that. <laughs> um, now we're going to grab another C clip. So you should have heaps of them if you're a gloomy groomer. And besides, you get like quite a bit in one packet of them. So that's why I have so many of them. Okay, put your C clip onto the band that's on your hook. Making sure I'm recording. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so go into the first chain and you're going to do. A single crochet the next chain you're going to do an increase so two stitches in the same chain back into the same chain the next chain we're doing a single crochet then we're doing a increase in the next chain Back into the same chain. And then we're doing single crochet, single crochet. Okay. 
And now you should have something that looks like this. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches. Whoa. Okay, so now we're going to do two rounds of single crochet around that. So, single crochet with no increase, no decrease. Just single crochet all the way around twice. Which is pretty easy, there's not very many stitches. So these are pretty basic. Um, Okay, I've changed my mind. So we're just going to leave it as it is, of course. What I mean by change my mind is we're not going to do another round of single crochet. These are going to be the hands. So, okay, so they're both going to be different. Sorry about that sudden change. Um, so, these are the hands. So stop here after you've done that one single crochet, one round of single crochet. Um, and then make another one of this. So the same thing. Again, so we're going to make one more of this, and then now I'll show you what to do for the legs. So doing the exact same thing. Six single crochets. One. Two. Going on here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that is one, two, and three, and now three more. One, two, Yeah, I did that wrong, but that's okay. Three. Still magic ring. That's fine. All is good. Okay, so now one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm just quickly take off my jumper. I'm really hot. Sorry about that. Okay, so we, just to clarify, this was the hand, and we're just doing one single crochet around after we did the... So basically, this is just the hand. So repeat that for the hands, the top half of the legs. Um... And then grab a C clip. I'm gonna take a couple up. Grab a C clip and put it to your hook. So you should have single crochet. Sorry, I can't talk English right now. That's fun. Um, so we have a six magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go into the first chain. Doing a single crochet. The next chain is an increase. Back into the same loop. Sorry, chain. Single crochet. And then an increase. And the next two loops are going to be single crochet. Just like so. Okay. And then now you're going to do like you did before for the other hand. We're doing just a single crochet all the way around. So you should have eight stitches. Just count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one single crochet, two single crochet. Three, four, five, six, and then seven. Last one, eight. Take your C clip. Reclaim onto your hook. Now that would normally be um, the hand. But 
But now for the bottom half of the legs, I'm going to be doing another single crochet round. I hope this makes sense. Okay, so what we'll have is this will be the top, so with this we have, um, I think I mix it up up here, but the top ones are going to be shorter and the bottom ones are going to be longer, basically. So that was the first mind thought and I think it'll be cute. So that's what it'll look like on the character. So now what I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to need to make another one of each of these. So, make sure you have them separated. Um, I mean, they're not that hard to tell apart from, but... So, I'll be back once I have... Sorry if I just breathe into the camera. Um, so, you have the small one and you have the big one. You can put them both onto the holding hook. I mean, pen. <laughs> so, the small one. Big one. I like to keep the C-clip on there. You don't have to. Um, you can use one C-clip throughout this whole tutorial. Um, I won't be using any stuffing for these, so I'll be back once I have done two more. So one more of the bigger one and one more of the smaller one. So yeah, I'll be right back once I've done that. Alrighty-o, so now we have this much done. So I have the two pairs of larger legs, so just the extra single crochet around, and then the non-extra crochet single around. So have them together so you don't get them mixed up. So we've got the jumbo head, which will hopefully look cute, um, and then the feet. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the body. So now this is rough, so I haven't got a pattern for this because the pattern that I was going to use for that won't work. So, because I've made the head bigger, so just it didn't work out. So I'm going to have to make it up from my head, and I've got a pretty, pretty good idea. So if this is uploaded, then it worked. All right. So, we're going to start off with a, sorry, the camera isn't, okay. So we're going to start off with a magic ring of six. So, i showing you how to do this a couple of times now. Pull the band through. So that's one. Two. Three. And then one more for six. Alright, grab your C-clip. And attach to the balance on your hook. Oh. Okay. So now we're going to go into the first loop and we're going to do an increase all the way around. One. Back into the same chain. Second one. Go into the next chain, do the same thing. One, back into the same chain, two, next chain, one, two, next chain, one, two, and then the next chain. One, two, you should have 12 stitches by the end of this. Last stitch, one, two. Forgive me for going so fast, I just don't want it to, you know, like I said, heaps of times now. Um, I hope I still get, you know, let you guys get the hang of it. So now you should something that looks like this. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to gradually build up stitches. So we're not going to do obviously as much as we did for the head, but we're going to do a little bit less than the head. So, 
If that doesn't make any sense to you, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so first stitch is a single crochet, so we're gonna do single crochet, single crochet, increase. So, single crochet, single crochet, actually three single crochets, and then an increase. As I said, this is rough, so if this is confusing for some people, I'm really sorry. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and an increase. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and an increase. Okay. Reclaim your C clip to the balance on your hook. So, for the next round, we're going to do basically just gradually getting bigger. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to do single crochet, single crochet, increase. Single crochet, single, god damn it, single crochet, and then increase. Next stitch, single crochet. Single crochet, increase, single crochet, single crochet, increase. Single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet, single crochet, and an increase. Me with the slipping is really annoying. Sorry. I just hit the stand. Sorry about that. Okay. Now that we've done single crochet, single crochet, increase, it should be getting gradually bigger. Like that. And just have a look at what it looks like. I think I'm going to go about with that size. Okay. So now we're going to do lots of single crochet rounds. So we're gonna do one single crochet round as, as I did the same with the head before. I'll go off camera, do the amount of stitches I think you'll be needing, and then I'll tell you after I've done it. So then you'll pause the video there. Hope that makes sense. I'll explain it in more depth when I get to that point. So I'm just gonna do one single crochet round with you guys. I'm just doing one single crochet in each stitch. I'll do a stitch count after this round. I've been forgetting to do that throughout the video, I'm sorry about that.
Okay, that's one round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So your stitch count should be twenty. And that is what the body is going to look like. Okay. So now I will go off camera. I will do the amount of stitches to the point where I think it's good. Um, and I'll come back to you. I'll tell you how many rounds I did. And then you guys will pause the video there. Like I did for the head. And you'll do the amount of stitches that I said. Okay. So I'll be right back once I've done the amount. Then I'll tell you the amount. Okay. Okay, so I'm back and I did three rounds on top of the one, the first one that we did. So in total it will be four rounds, but um, from where you guys are up to right now, you will be up to the first rounds. So you would have done one round, one, sorry, you would, bleh, 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 bleh. you would have done one round of the single crochet and now you want to do three more rounds on top of that, okay? So come back to me once you've done three rounds of just single crochet, no increase, no decrease, exactly what you just did. Three rounds, and then come back to me. So pause the video here, do three rounds, and then come back to me. So, now that you're up to my stage, what we're now going to do is we're going to start decreasing. So, to start decreasing, we're going to do basically the same thing we did with the head. We're going... To, oh, sorry, no, we're not going to start decreasing. Never mind. We're going to start adding um, arms. We're not going to forget that this time. So I'm just going to slide them all off. They have S clips on mine. Sorry, C clips, sorry. Okay, so we're going to grab our um, top ones. So we have the body is facing this way. So it'll be basically on here. Um, it'll be pretty flattened out. So it'll be about there and you want to see where you want your legs. So these are the top ones. Like that. And then you'll have the bottom ones. We'll add attach the bottom ones later. Kind of looks like a turtle. It'll look like a dino soon. So we're going to do that. Okay, so what we need to do to attach that is, so, we're going to grab this. We're going to take off the C-clip. So you can put your big ones to the side now. Sorry, this bigger one, bigger feet. Okay, um, and now we're going to take this. Um, okay, so we're going to undo this like that. Hold this. Make sure it doesn't come undone. Undo this. Grab your hook. Go back into that last stitch. And we're going to do a slip stitch. I hope this makes sense. So we're going to do a slip stitch. We're going to go through all the loops on our hook. Reclaim. Pull through. And then you can actually tighten that one. Okay, so now that you've got that one done, we're going to go to the other side. So the one opposite side to it. And we're going to grab a band, pull it through, through the other, and slip knot. So now you should have two sides with slip knots. To make it more secure, you can also put slip knot there and there, and then attach that. I'll show you how to attach that later. Um, okay, I'm going to do the same thing for this foot. Sorry, not foot, arm. So I'm just, I can take this off just so it's not as annoying. Okay, so we're going to show that to you again. Pull that off, hold that with your other hand. Undo this, take your hook, put your hook back through that next chain, and then pull through everything. Reclaim, tighten. Okay, and then go through to this loop over here. Oh, that didn't work. So make sure it's the identical one to the other side. Otherwise your foot, I mean, I keep calling it foot, arm will be diagonal. Okay, so, now that's ready to attach. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly secure this without a C-clip. So I'm just going to disconnect the C-clip. I'm going to grab a different colour band. Um, so put your hook through there. Sorry, yes, yes, put your hook through there. Go through the next stitch over, and I'm doing it with a different colour so I know which one's which. Pull through everything, and then just lightly kind of slip on it so you're able to undo it again. Okay. Now we're ready to start making without worrying that it's going to undo. Okay, so now we're going to grab our leg. Sorry, I keep calling it a leg. Gosh. <laughs> okay, we're going to put our arm. We're going to measure it out. Arm about. See where you'd like it. 
we're gonna have it pretty high up okay and then and then and then we're gonna put our hook through the back like this we're gonna grab that slip knot and pull it through then we're gonna find where the other side is pull it through grab ooh. Grab the slip knot, let go, okay? And for some people this is a hard thing to do, but um, practice, it's easy. Well, it gets easy. You wanna fold it inside out. Grab your two, make sure it's where you want it. Grab your two, this is a Craft Muse way of doing it and I love her way of doing it. You wanna fold it over and you wanna tie it. I double knot it. Make sure it's not too tight. You don't want it to be um, squeezed. Okay. Okay, and then you can just fix that up a bit by scrunching it up. And that'll be your first arm. Yeah, I actually called it an arm this time. <laughs> okay, grab your next pre 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 prepared arm. You want to size it up. Okay, make sure it's where you want it. Pull, whoa. Pull through a band. First one, and then go to the other side. See where it's coming up. Just like that. Make sure they are identically together. Okay, so this one isn't, so I'm just going to undo that. This might be a little bit confusing. Apologize for that. I'm just going to pull this back through, just make sure they're identical and they're not, you know, one's off center. Okay. So that's going to be where the arms are placed. No, that looks like... I'm going to put them a bit closer together. This process can take pretty long, um, but... get there eventually. Just make sure it's where you want them to be. Okay, pull that through. And then on the other side, do the same thing. Sorry, I'm pulling it up to my face so I can see. And that looks pretty even to me. And you can check with the head. Yep, that looks pretty cute. Okay, and now we're going to flip it inside out like we did with the other one and not tie it too tight. Okay. Tie it together. Don't tie it too tight, otherwise your bands might snap. And I've had that problem with some of Craft Muse's videos, but of course it's not her fault. It's usually because I tie the band too much. Okay. You can push them down a bit, flatten them up. That is your hands that have now been placed. Very cute. It kind of looks like a... It, it'll look better soon, hopefully. Now we're going to continue on with our rows. So, I think now um, we're going to need a couple more rows. So you want to undo your pink band or whatever band you did for tying off. Make sure you, make sure you put on your C-clip. Otherwise, you will lose where you're up to. If you continue just stitching without it. Okay, so now we're going to do a couple more rows. Um, I'll do one row with you guys. So just single crochet. Oh. So we're just doing single crochet in every chain. So just doing single crochet all the way around, nothing special, 
If you guys have any questions or comments, um, sorry, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will more than likely answer. Um, I answer to all my comments, except if they're mean, of course. So far I've had positive um, things, nothing really bad at all, and I'm very thankful for that. There's really not been any hate. And thank you for the people who have subscribed to my channel. I'm very thankful for you. Um, it shows that you want to see more of my channel and it's always a good feeling. Okay, so that's one single crochet round done. Um, and like I did before, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do one more round. Um, I'll do that round, and if I do more than one more round, I'll tell you what I did. So I'll just do what I need to do, and then I'll tell you what I did, and then you guys will do that, pause the video, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so I did one more round, so just do one more round of crochet, single crochet, um, and then we're going to get on to decreasing. So we're going to do one more round of decrease, and then we will attach the bottom legs. Okay. Just going to add some more bands. So now for the decrease, what we're going to do is we're going to do, um, let's think, three single crochets. No, I do two single crochets. Okay. Single crochet, single crochet, and then the front stitch of the next chain and the back stitch of the second chain and pull through. So that's the pattern. So single crochet, single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, single crochet, and then front stitch, back stitch, decrease. Single crochet, single crochet, decrease, front stitch, back stitch. Single crochet, single crochet, and then front stitch and the back stitch. Okay, single crochet, single crochet, front stitch and the back stitch. Take your C clip and then reclaim onto your hook. Okay, so now we're going to attach the legs. So what we're, we're going to do what we did last time: take your other color band, take through all bands, and then reclaim and then do a slip stitch. Okay, so now we have our body almost ready to attach onto our head. So hopefully it doesn't become too big. Um, uh, there was not enough room on this guy to attach things. So that's fun. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach our legs. So. Oh, my back hurts. Alright. So, now what we're going to do is take our C-clip off. If you had one. We're going to do the same thing we did for the legs. So we're going to take it off hold that with your hook. Take this off like so and then we're going to go into that same stitch again, clip, grab a band, go through everything and then reclaim and then do a nice tight slip stitch. Then go to the one on the other side and do another slip stitch. And that is the first leg ready. I'm just going to put that on now. Um, I don't know whether or not I want to put it on the side or let's see. So I can either do it like that. I think I might put it slightly to the side to make it look like you're sitting down. Okay. So grab your do the same thing we did before. If you're touching them, place it where you want it to go. Grab your hook. Go in, take the C, it's the C, what? 
take the uh, bands through the holes. Whoa. Okay. There you go. Now we can tie that from behind. Don't need to turn it all the way inside out if you don't want to. And just tie a knot. And kind of form it however you like and then we're gonna do the same thing we did for the other foot let's take off your c-clip take the first stitch off put onto your hook take off that band put your hook back into the stitch and then reclaim and then submit sorry someone just came in my room so that'll be a pretty big cut <laughs> anyway so on the other side of the leg Grab a band and pull through. Okay? Okay. Ooh, wow, that was a high-pitched voice. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side. Uh, make sure that they are even. Steven? Okay. So we're doing this. So we're just going to... So I'll figure out my placement and I'll quickly just attach this. Just do the same thing we did for the other side. Okay, so I've got my placement figured out and I'm just tying the back of it now. It took me a while because the second one's always hardest because you have to get them symmetrical. Just take your time. Okay, and then you can mold it up a bit. Still might not be what I wanted. That's alright. Can't really fix it now tied it up okay that looks pretty cute to me um that's what it's gonna look like okay now we're gonna attach um sorry not, we're not gonna attach anything yet we're going to actually finish up the body that's a good idea okay so what we're gonna do to finish up the body why did i take that off take off the tying up band and then now we're just going to finish them off. So, I'm not going to do the um, single crochet then decrease because we're not slowly decreasing now. We want it to be a flat bottom or just it has to be, you know, reasonably quick um, so that it doesn't... So we're going to do different decreases this time. So decrease with two stitches and then we're going to do that kind of motion. So one and then two. Okay. Take that one, and that one, making sure I was recording, <laughs> I've done that mistake before. Okay, that one, that one, so that's kind of the motion we're doing. That one, and that one together can be kind of hard to get through sometimes okay and we don't really need a C clip here but I have one in just in case because um, we're finishing it up and it doesn't really need any rows just keep going until it's closed. So we're just gonna do this one round. So it's good that we have the C clip on. C clip, C clip. If you don't, it's fine. Um, I didn't remind you to do that at the start. Sorry about that. Okay, and then we have one more stitch. It might not be even. I just want to close it up. So take off the C clip, and we kind of stop where we stopped the decreases. Um, so now we're gonna do one more decrease. So double that up all right now don't pull it just that and then do the stitch what you want to do is you want to pull it through all the bands this time make sure it's evenly through pull through and then you can do a nice tight cap slip slips cap what and I realize there's still a little hole there um, now with that little hole we're gonna add 
our stuffing and then we'll close it off completely. And the reason why I said to do a tight slip knot is because we're going to do Craft Muse's way of finishing up little holes. So it's a little gap but it's enough to get some stuffing in. So just do as best as you can. You don't want it to be too stuffed of course. Just get as much as you can in there. Okay, we want this belly, sorry, this to be pretty stuffed, so. Okay, it's going to look very cute. Okay, and that is what we're going to have so far. So, now we're going to find out... <laughs> where we have the slip knot because <laughs> I might get caught up in the um, stuff okay now we're going to put our hook back through this take another band reclaim and slip knot it onto that one as well okay so now we're going to hold that with our two index fingers and we're going to go into from out to in so out grab that pull through like that. Grab the next stitch. Pull through. Just gonna zoom in for you guys. Well, that's way too zoomed in. Okay, and then we're going to the next one. Pull through until you run out of stitches. through all of them and through the last stitch and I'll show you what happens okay and now all you gotta do is pull and it should close up the gap for you okay and it makes a flat bottom okay and then with that left over usually I just so what Craft Muse does is she goes through any kind of loop, so like the closest loop, pull this through the loop, hold it with your finger, back through this loop, and then I kind of grab my fingers, take it out, and then kind of make a knot with it, like that. And then we're just going to hide that. So what we do is we go to the closest stitch near that, go under, and then pull that into the piece. You can just keep pulling it down until it can't be seen anymore. And that is the body. Now we all got to now what we got to do is attach these two together. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is hope that this doesn't ruin it <laughs> okay so we're gonna take this c-clip off I'm gonna unzoom so I don't go off camera is that all the way up okay yeah that is okay so now what we're gonna do is the same thing we did for the legs we're gonna take that off get a hook put that on take that off now we did a decrease for this but that's okay just go into the next loop whoops yeah. <laughs> go into the next loop Take a band and then pull through everything, reclaim and then tighten. Okay? That's not really going to be seen anywhere. Okay. So now to attach the head to the body. Now, this is a tedious part. Um, it, it can be hard. So what you want to firstly do is just tuck that into the piece. Take the band next to that one. So these ones are attached together. We're just going to take this band from the outside, sorry, no, from the inside, and then we're going to get the front. Um, actually, you don't want to go from the back of the head. So, from the back of the head, so straight forward to the back is about here. So, we legit had that. So, that's the back of the head. 
um, and then we are going to front top of our body and we're gonna face it this way okay and that's the back of it we're gonna slip our hook out have our stitches ready and we want to grab the back so whatever part is lining up with the head and just grab the back of the head and you want to pull a band through all of them okay oh this is just to get it started so now you have a band through that and then there you go so now what you want to do now is basically do that throughout the whole head so we're going to go through the next part it's kind of hard to film because I like to put it up to my face close and we want to also go through every single chain so doing this oh gosh go through everything reclaim basically doing slip stitch all the way around so make sure the head is facing the way you want it to face okay so keep checking that so it's not off to the side once you've finished gosh this is hard to record okay now going to the next area so you just kind of grab two bands at a time go out to in gosh pull through everything that didn't work okay that's fine just keep trying keep going until you got it um so i'm gonna go all the way around in that motion so you're just grabbing the first one and the bottom one um because this will take quite a while uh so i'll just do it a couple more times with you guys so you get the idea So just kind of go to whatever is underneath that stitch of the head. Okay, so we're going to the next stitch over. The stitch that's underneath that stitch. Through everything, reclaim. Don't tighten. Next stitch. Now you can go a little bit closer to the arms with this part so that it isn't falling backwards the head okay I'll just show you guys the whole thing it's okay hope you guys can see this okay so make sure it's where you wanted the head um this is what I mean by it. like it does this thing where it just changes completely when I try to attach the head um, but we can fix up stuff in the end so it's kind of off to the side but that's okay um, it'll look something like that which is not that bad I guess so we're gonna go to the next stitch stitch under it everything next stitch take a band through both of them all of them so it's pretty simple just going all the way around now I've come to the back so what we're going to do is we're just going to take that stitch in the back and we're going to take it through all of it like we did for all the other stitches and then we're going to reclaim and then we're going to tighten this one okay and that is the back and that is the front it looks like a turtle so the neck is pretty um thin so. okay so i thought i should notify you that um you will see in a couple clips later that the head looks different that's because I had another go at it just off camera but I didn't really mention that so I thought I'd mention it here while I'm complaining about the head so yeah <laughs> okay okay 
It really does look like a turtle. I'm sad. Okay, so now we have something that looks like this. Alright, so head is attached. Now we're just going to do the tail. Get rid of that fabric pill that's come everywhere. Okay, so leg, like we did for this. Um, I will now show you how to make the tail and the back part. And that's all we need to do, and then he'll be done. So, we got to create the tail first. So in order to do that... We want to pick where we want the tail. So I'm going to put it up a bit higher this time because last time I did it a little bit too low. So we want to heighten, heighten, yes, that's the word that I wanted. Heighten the tail. So we're going to start at the top here and I'm going to pull through a band. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. That's fun. So we're going to start at the top. Let me get that out of the frame because I can start focusing on that. All right, so we're going to pull through a band Like that. And we're gonna go in a circle basically. So go to the next stitch over, pull band through like that. So now we're gonna go to the next part over, so just anywhere just to create a circle. Okay, so make sure it'll be level on each side, so make sure it's not diagonal. Okay, go to the next one over, should be pretty good. Your tail might come up bigger, um, depends on just how many loops you do. And then the last one here. And this is going to be our tail. Okay? So that's the format of our tail. You can just pull up the loops a bit so you can see them. And our tail is going to go out like that. Alright, and with the main part, when it, the main, like the, I don't know how to call it, the spikes, I guess, that come down will cover that part up. <laughs> it got a little crazy behind there. Okay, well, anyways. I could have done a better job of attaching the head. You guys can just reattach it if it doesn't go on well. I just didn't didn't want to. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to basically do heaps of single crochet rounds so with the loops that we just made. So we're creating a single crochet. Not like that. Next one over. Three. Four. Five. Six. Uh, seven. And then we have the eighth. Take off your C clip. Reclaim. So we're going to keep doing that until we have a format of a tail, basically. So, one. It's kind of hard to do because the head is so bulky. Two. Seven and then eight. So that was, I think, around two or three. I'm not sure. Just keep going until you have, until you're happy with the length of your tail. It might actually be even too high. Well, that's funny. That looks kind of funny. So right, let's just keep going. Okay. 
It might even tilt down once I've got lots of layers, so. You can add stuffing. I think I'm going to add stuffing because it's a little bit loose here with the tail, so I'm going to add some stuffing. Okay, right here I'm going to add a little bit of stuffing before we carry on. I'm just going to legit add the tiniest bit. Um, nothing too special. Just to give it a little bit of structure. That looks really strange. I'm sad now. I'm just gonna have to take a band and pull it down. That's all right. All right, and now we're just gonna keep adding layers, so single crochet rounds, and then we're gonna eventually start decreasing and it'll come to a tip. Just keep going until you're happy with the length. And before I keep going, I'm just going to quickly fix up my tail. Be right back. Alright, so let's continue. So I'm just going to keep doing um, single crochets. I will actually do this off camera. I just quickly fixed up the bottom of the tail. I took a band from here and here and then tied them together so it would face down slightly. Um, so it didn't have a little hunch. Okay, so I'm just going to finish my rounds off camera until I have a fair, fairly long tail. Um, so just keep doing single crochet rounds until you're happy with the shape and the size and length. Just finish this round and then I'll go off camera and do the rest of the just single crochet rounds. So this is up to you guys. Um, it's just single crochet rounds. That's it. Um, it will end up being, in the end, to finish it up, it'll be a couple decreases. But I'll do my single crochets and then I'll come back on camera and show you how to do the decreases. Okay, so I'll finish up my single crochet rounds and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a couple more rows and mine's about this length now and I'm going to tie it off. So to tie it off, what you got to do is just take two bands together, pull through one side, and then like that. And then you're going to keep doing that until you have legit no loops left. Just doing that throughout the entire row. That's all we're doing for decreases. No singles in this round, just decreases because we're tying it off. You can get rid of your C clip. Um, just keep going until you don't have any loops left. Okay, and I'm going to go into the Last loop and a loop underneath that. I'm going to pull it through everything and then tie it off. Probably should have added more filling. <laughs> God damn it, that's alright. So that is my tail. And now you can just grab and then pull in. Okay, now we've got one more thing to do and that is 
the backing of it. So this is how cute the <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> okay. So now that we have that done, we are completed with our main body color. Um, I'm now going to show you how to create the back, which is going to be the, slightly the same as this, but of course bigger due to the size difference. Okay, let's get started. So if you're needing your um, color for the spikes, I've chosen this color just because there's really no other color that would really match at all. Um, if you find as a different um, lighting, if you see that there's way different lighting right now and it's very off of lighting because it's night time now and I started about 1 a.m. not 1 a.m. 1 p.m. Um, and now I'm finishing and it's almost 9 o'clock. So, yeah. That's okay, I wanted to get this video up anyways. Anyway, so now I'm going to show you how to do the spike across the back, up to the tail, and then we'll be done. Okay, so I'm going to start about here. So that's dead straight in the middle. And we're going to take our band and we're going to pull that through. And we're not going to do a crochet, we're going to do a different type of crochet. Pull through another band through that chain, so we're basically making a chain. Pull another band through, and then now that you have three bands, go into the next loop over, pull through a band, reclaim, keep all those bands on your hook, hold this band, only pull through that band. Okay, so now that you have two chains, now you can pull through all bands. Hope that made sense. That's what we've got. Now we're going to go to the next thing over. You can do it in a zigzag kind of pattern um, so it's straight because there's not really any things that go all the way straight. So we're going through another thing and it's very repetitive. So now we're doing one, two, three. Sorry if I'm not explaining it very well. I've been recording all day and yeah, anyways. So now we're pulling through all bands, reclaim. Go into the next loop over. Try not to space them out too much. So one, two, and then we're going through. So the, basically the pattern is one, two, three, one, two. Other side of the cat band. One, two, three pull through all and that is what your spike is going to look like all the way down. So basically what you'll do is you'll do from side to side with all the stitches all the way down um, and then I will come back after I've done all the stitches all the way down to just before the tail. I'll show you how to do the tail. It's the same thing. I'm just going to go through it anyways in case you guys are confused. So I'll show you one more time. So we just did one, two, three. Now we're doing one, two. One, two. Pull through all. One, two, three. Pull through all. Okay, and that's sort of what it should look like. And I'm thinking on maybe doing side fins or something like that but then it would look not really much like a dinosaur so never mind that never mind so just make sure you're doing it straight keep checking um for it to be straight and yeah so i'm gonna do this all the way down before the tail and i'll be back after i've done the tail okay so i'm gonna go all the way to here then I'll be back so I can show you guys how to finish it off and do the tail. Okay, so I finished all of that and now we're going to heading on to the tail. So it's different now, we're going to finish it off with, um, depends on whatever stitch you're up to, but now we're going to, starting off to the tail, so now all we're going to do is one. So it's kind of difficult because it's very mangled. Um, so we're just going to do one stitch, like that. And then we're going to pull through all. Okay, so I'm going to go first stitch into the tail, 
Let me just zoom in for you guys. So first stitch into the tail, we're doing one pull through, pull through one through all. So we're only doing one instead of two and then three. So that's really the only difference. So pull through once and then pull through, oh, pull through once and then pull through all. This is just so it's not as um, thick on the tail. Pull through one. It's difficult because the tail is in different directions, so just figure it out. You'll get there. And then pull through all. Keep going, and then we'll finish it up. Okay, and we're going to do one more and then we're going to close it up. So I'm just going to go somewhere in the end here, up through a hole. Okay, and then we're going to pull through everything on our hook, reclaim, slip through the other one and then pull nice and tight. And you have that on the end and you can go through the tail, grab that and then pull it into your creation. And guess what? We're done our dinosaur! I really hope you guys enjoyed. A dinosaur is complete. And the tail still isn't... It's, 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 it's good. It's okay. <laughs> um, he turned out super cute. I definitely wouldn't recommend these color combo. I mean, it's not that bad. But, this is the dinosaur. So I'm just going to clear up my desk and I'll do an outro. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more for future videos, which I have plenty planned, click that notification bell after you subscribe. And you'll be sure to have some notifications soon. Um, I'll have a pufferfish tutorial out soon. I will also have a duckling tutorial out soon. Um, and yeah, so I might even have the pufferfish up tomorrow. So. That is the tutorial for today, and I really hope you enjoy. Like I said, if you do create my own, my creations, then I'd love for you to hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'll leave my Instagram in the description and on the screen. And I really hope you go and follow me on Instagram and share what you've made. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.